Hi, welcome to your Broadstripe Internet self-installation experience. This video will show you how easy it is to set up your Broadstripe Internet. After your technician completes the outside work, they will leave the kit at your door. When the kit has been delivered, the account holder will be contacted through email and or text message based on the contact information on file. Let's start by taking a look inside your self-installation kit. Your kit should have the following items, your Broadstripe modem, a coax cable, an ethernet cord, and power cord, as well as a how-to guide. If you are using your own modem, you will receive a door tag with information on your next steps. Now you're ready to connect your modem. Be sure to position your modem away from large pieces of furniture. This will prevent the signal from being blocked and ensure a strong connection for your devices. Find the coax cable outlet you used with your previous internet provider. If you're not sure where that is, then find a centrally located coax cable outlet and insert the cable directly into the outlet. Turn it clockwise by hand until it's tight. Then connect the other end of the coax cable directly into your modem. You'll want to make sure the connection between your modem and the cable is secure and hand tightened. Next, let's connect the power. First, plug the power cord into the modem. Then, plug the power cord into the wall outlet. Great, your modem will boot up and the majority of the lights will turn solid within 10 minutes. If most of the lights aren't solid after 10 minutes, your cable outlet may not be working. If so, try another cable outlet in your home. Now, it's time to connect your devices to your new Wi-Fi network. First, locate the sticker on your modem. You can find the sticker on the back, bottom, or side of your modem. The sticker will have your network name shown as the SSID. Your password will be shown as the pre-shared key. Next, find the network name on your device. Depending on the type of device you have, you might see an option for a 2.4 GHz network, a 5 GHz network, or both. If you have both options listed, use the 5 GHz network. Then use the pre-shared key found on your modem and enter it as your password. Once you are connected to your network, you're all set. For more tips on your Wi-Fi network, visit broadstripe.com slash help.